Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we're looking at Code Realize Episode 10. Uh, so first and foremost, guys and girls, I am sorry that these reviews are so out so late today. I had a lot of work earlier today that I had to make up for like not doing anything yesterday. Uh, you know, for the most part, I didn't mean to get these out so late, but kind of turned out that way. What I will be doing, and I will announce this in like every video, so I do apologize for that if you've seen it already. Uh, I will actually have every uh, video like today. I'll have a March comes online probably tomorrow, but every other video will be out today. Uh, so they're going to be kind of spammed out. So you're probably going to see this, and then you're probably going to see two other reviews come out. I'm sorry about that, but I, I want to get these out so I can go get dinner and stuff before it gets any later. It's already 7 o'clock for me. Uh, so anyways, Code Realize Episode 10 was probably the most action-heavy episode, and I want to say a good way to get closer to the ending of the series. The fact of all of them going in and fighting all those finishes was probably the best part of the episode. You know, to me, this week's episode was kind of just, I want to say, very mellow for the most part. We had some cool fight scenes, don't get me wrong. You know, definitely uh, Dracula Man was kicking butt, even though he's a little tiny dude. And the fact that they found what essentially is the Code Realize being the form of the Father and Finnis, apparently having the actual bodies inside this kind of strange orb thing, you know, was very interesting. But really, none of that really grabbed me besides the fight. Like, I hate to say that, but the fight was, was so awesome. Vaughn basically did all the work by himself, mind you. I mean, you know, we had Lupin do some cool stuff too, but Vaughn was just going around shooting all the finishes that the copies of them and all that. And, you know, even though he got hit by these weird tentacle things that were coming out of the code, he realized, you know, he was still kicking ass. So he was probably the MVP of this week's episode, to be honest with you. The second best part of the episode for me, hands down, was definitely the, the part where Lupin tried to save Cardi, who had been taken away by, you know, the, the father slash Finnis. And, you know, Lupin tried to save her. He jumped up and, and tried to grasp her hand, even though knowing that would probably poison him or hurt him. But nonetheless could not actually do it, you know, uh, the, the one uh, tentacle arm hit him into the ground, and his wound opened up in his arm, so he had a promise to her, and that's why the episode's called The Promise, he said that, you know, just wait for me, I will be back for you, I swear, and thus they made their kind of strategic retreat. Now, meanwhile, we're also seeing um, what looks like a, attacks via the poison that was made by using Cardius, um, you know, weird, I forget the, the thing, the chrys chrysalis gym or something like that? I, I, for, I Forgive me, I can never uh, pronounce it correctly. It was using a mixture of that and also what Frankenstein had made and putting them together. So now we see some of the soldiers being affected by that and dying from it. So that's why they have to act fast because if that actually should shoot out into Britain, that would probably cause the end of Britain, to be honest with you. Uh, so that's definitely going to be interesting. I'm looking forward to next week's episode. What do you guys think about this week's episode? I would love to hear from you in the comments below. As always, guys and girls, if you like my reviews, you know what to do. I will talk to you in my next reviews. I'll have them all out soon. Talk to you guys then. Bye-bye, everyone.